Lawmakers move now to crack down on people impersonating veterans or service members to get a deal or make a quick buck. Violators of the proposed theft of valor law would face criminal misdemeanor charges and fines. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Slauson spoke with some veterans tonight who say they are totally on board with this. For those who serve our country, core values matter. The big one was integrity. And that's what we live by. If somebody doesn't have integrity, we have a real issue with that. Especially when a lack of integrity causes a person to pretend they were in the military. We are brothers and sisters in the military, and when this happens and somebody does that to us and falsely represents us, it is very disturbing. To someone like Colonel John Higgins, who served for 33 years in the U.S. Air Force, this isn't just a nuisance. It's a flat-out slap in the face. I've lost 12 of my friends who were killed in training accidents and or combat, and to see this dishonored to us is very, very disturbing. Colonel Higgins doesn't want that dishonor to continue. The same goes for some local officials who are looking to keep the community accountable. It will be illegal for those to disrespect the sacrifice that was made by our veterans. Erie County legislator Ed Rath was among those who voted in favor of the stolen valor law, which could land you a fine or possibly in jail for impersonating the military. If people do go around our community uh, proclaiming that they're veterans and they're not, they're going to be held criminally accountable. A law already exists at the federal level against theft of valor, but this law would add teeth at the local level. Colonel Higgins approves, hoping this helps veterans and active duty service members alike. And I think it's great for them to hear that this won't be abused and won't be tolerated in this country. The stolen valor law awaits the signature of Erie County Executive Mark Polencars, and if he does sign off on it, within 60 days it allows local authorities the availability to arrest those who pretend like they served on one of these. From the Naval Park in Buffalo, Jeff Slauson, 7 Eyewitness News.